Gym with Elite Personal Fitness, today's workout, CrossFit format. We're gonna do an AMRAP routine, and we've basically got four different circuits set up, and they're each set up for eight minutes a piece. 35 minute workout, so it's pretty quick. Um, relatively easy to follow along. I'll do this with you in real time, so it should be um, really easy if you're watching this to just kind of follow along and, and see the form and see the exercises. Uh, at least that's our intent. Um, if you're not familiar with AMRAP, basically we have a circuit set up. I'll put it on the screen. You're with minimal rest between these exercises, you're just going to keep going through that circuit for eight minutes. And the idea is you try to get as many rounds or, or maybe reps, but rounds make a lot of sense. You're trying to get through that as many times as you can. And uh, in a true CrossFit sense, you could you could track that and try to beat your time. So you would get more reps or more rounds in as you got more fit. This is kind of tailored more for the home. Reps are a little bit higher. A lot of times at home, you don't have maybe as much weight as you would at a facility. It's still a, a great workout. A few things you want to grab. So if you have weights at home, go ahead and use those. I mean, <laughs> that's why you got them, right? But if you don't have weights, we don't want you to feel left out. Anyone can do these workouts, all right? Um, we're going to use some basic household items just to run through and use them as resistance. Uh, you may want, let's run through this really quick, you may want an ab mat, okay? I know that's not a household item, but if you have an ab mat that you use uh, for core work or maybe yoga, you may want to break that out. Our first circuit, um, a lot of those movements are on the floor, it might be a little more comfortable. You may want a chair. We'll need a chair or a bench um, for an exercise in here. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, you can use gallon jugs. And I would, I would suggest two to four gallon jugs. Um, you could hold one, maybe two in each hand. So that would be four. Um, the other thing we'll need uh, is a towel. Um, you may want a towel handy. Um, and you could use light dumbbells also. We're gonna do a wall sit for one of these exercises in a narrow position, and, and we're just going to kind of work, kind of work the front of the shoulders, but shoulder mobility, we're gonna do a front raise, and we're gonna do eight of those. So you'll want a towel nearby. Um, optional item, and, and gallon jokes get through this routine. If you want a little more weight, we have a bent over row, and we also have some curls in this routine. And you may want to make use of a backpack if you want more weight, okay? So um, I've got a backpack and I actually have two weights in there and you can use book, paper, old weight plates. Guys, I've got a couple random dumbbells in there and I, I actually have two. Um, I've got it staged so I could use the heavier one for the rows, then I can quickly unzip, pull one out, zip it back up and go right to curls, okay? So um, if you need a backpack, um, Grab one of your kids' backpacks, you'll have one. Um, but it's, a, it's kind of a neat little tool. And, and listen, you, you can't load hundreds of pounds of weight in there. But you can get something where you're using good form, really trying to be strict, and really exercise that back. And for a lot of people, you know, they don't need 200 pounds, okay? So I think that'd be very beneficial if you need more resistance than the gallon jugs offer. Uh, guys, that's it. Uh, let's get this thing started, okay? Uh, I will mention modifications as we go through here. Our idea with this routine is to really allow just about any fitness level to do this, and you can do it anywhere, anytime. So it's kind of a hey, home CrossFit workout. And again, there'll be video clips, guys, that'll show you um, on our first run as we go through if there's a chair that you could possibly use or a way to modify that exercise, okay? Uh, first round, let me get the mat set up here, guys. We're gonna start, a lot of these, as I mentioned, are, are gonna be kind of core-centered here. Um, and we'll be in up plank to kind of get the upper body warm up as well. Um, reps are listed here. So, hey, let's get started. We have seated leg lifts to start with. Uh, I just need to pull up this interval timer. Uh, it's set up and ready to roll here. Okay, we're going in four. So we're starting with seated leg lifts. We're gonna get 15 of these. We're just gonna lean back, guys, and our timer's on. So one, two. Okay, let's get 
really feel the core working there. Guys, we'll work for eight minutes, and I don't know if I mentioned we have a minute off. Okay. So now, guys, we'll go right to the next one. We have cross planks. We're going 15 each way. Okay. You could use a chair for this. You'll see that. We're here, guys. Come across and really squeeze that core. Back on the mat, and we're going to do a, a suitcase crunch. And all these are all these are 15, so it's easy to follow this first circuit at least. So we're going to do a suitcase crunch, you guys. I don't want you to get all the way up in the full setup. We're just going to have hands over the head. You could also go behind the head if, if the neck has a tendency to tighten up. And we're just going to kind of, kind of fold the upper and lower body together, almost like you're shutting the suitcase. good form. You're trying to get through as many reps as you can, but using good form. And I guess I think this is 13. Okay. So now we kind of did the cross planks a moment ago, and we did the latest cross leg. Now we're going to use the hands to reach across the body. So we're doing a cross reach crunch. So you can start with both hands behind your head. The legs are down. And you're just going to reach up. And we'll get two 15 of these in each direction. Now it's 15 each way. Remember, we don't stop at the end of that circuit. We keep going, so we're back to leg lifts. And this first run, as I mentioned, easy to remember the reps. 15. Planks are next. Chair is an option. Here we go. We're back to the suitcase crunch. So we'll lay back and we'll lay down for a minute. We're just under three and a half minutes left. So over halfway there. Feeling the core. Whoo! Bring those legs down. We're cross reaching, so we're trying to hit the ceiling, coming across the body. Whew. 15. 
each way. For me, that was round two. Guys, I know you're going to show on pace, so you're going to be ahead or behind. Um, just keep pushing yourself. Leg lifts. Thirty seconds left. Almost got three rounds in. So the great thing about this is it's it's kind of time, it's kind of clock managed like like an interval class sort of. So you just push yourself. Whatever it is, look at maybe you only get one and a half rounds, maybe you get three rounds or whatever it is. Just make sure you're using good form. And just try to challenge yourself. Alright. This next one, and these circuits, and sometimes we break these up and we've done these in the past, and like lower body, upper body, the mix, these are all kind of a mix, okay? So we have a squat thrust push-up coming up. That could be done with a chair or a bench, okay? And then alternate curtsy lunge, bent over rows, and curl. So it'll be a little transition for me with the weight, but it'll go pretty quickly, all right? We're about ready to go that minute, it goes fast. So squat thrust push-up, we're going eight. Here we go. So we're back, nice plank, stand up one, two, three, four, five, So you guys got those in those squat thrusts. Now we're gonna do a curtsy lunge. Eight each way. Heart rate's up a little bit. So crossover, make sure you have a nice stride. Do a slightly crossover. One.
that was eight each way bent over rows. Remember to be gallon jugs. Okay. I happen to have a backpack. Bring it over here. Protect your back, soft knees. 15 of these. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick changeover. And we got 15 curls for here. back ready for the round two squat thrust push-ups here we go Okay, courtesy lunge, here we go. That was eight. Now we have a couple fifteens. Here we go. Use your legs a little bit to get this up. Don't use your back. Remember, this could just be gallon jugs. Okay. Curls seem like it should be so easy. Man, they hurt a little bit. Okay. Squat thrust push-ups. Here we go.
lunges. Here we go. Fifteen bit of rows. Girls. And that's the clock. Whew. I'll set those down. Okay. okay. So we get a minute off here. Get a drink, need it. I'll put the next round on the screen so you can see it. We have swings. So like a kettle. Kettle swing, I'll use gallon jugs. Shoulder tap push ups. You can use a bench or chair for that. We'll show you that. Then we have thrusters. And then we're going to do these rows with dumbbells or gallon jugs where you hold ISO position while you do the row on the other side. And then, so, alternate ISO one arm rows. Oh boy. 12 seconds. We have 15 swings. Remember, hip drive. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shoulders have push ups. You could do this on a chair or bench. Eight total push ups. We'll do hit one side, push up the other side. Right? Be Here's sure to anchor your chair if you're going to use the chair option so it doesn't slide on you. Push-ups. Now we go 15 thrusters. Here we go. I'll use gallon jugs. Here we go. Fifteen of those are challenging. So I'll set these down. We have the alternate ISO one on rows now. Okay, pull these up.
man, tough. Set these down. If you're using two gallon jugs, I know you gotta get a wide stance. Okay, so back to the swings, back to the top of this. push-ups. Remember, you can go to your knees on these too if you need to with a push-up and hit the shoulder or use a chair. Thrusters. Here we go. Ultra nice to warm rows are next. Thrust just to get out of here. Okay. Here we go. Okay, put these down for just a second, shake them up for a minute, and we're back to the top again with our swings. Shoulder to push ups. <laughs> Woo. Minute off. 
Catch your breath. I will throw the next servant on the screen so you can see it. Eight plank rows with each arm. This will be tough, there'll be a chair option for this also. Babe, you don't have to use weight either with the chair or a plank. Okay, so pull. Try to get the back square to the floor. Set that off the side. Guys, we have a squat switch going eight each way. 16 total squats. I'll be jumping. If jumping's a problem, just squat and switch your feet. And you're slightly switching. Alright? Here we go. Okay, that was eight each way. Brutal. Anchor your chair now. We're doing close incline push ups. Don't want that chair bench to slide. So make sure it's not going to slide on you. Eight of these. so bad. Now we're going to do a wall sit narrow stance. Uh, I'm going to grab a towel and we're going to work kind of this shoulder kind of range of motion here. Okay so we're here. I'm going to get down. We're going to do eight of these. So narrow my feet are close together. One. Two. Not too quick on these three. Four, get the back flat. Five. Oh, sticking the pole here. All right. Back to plank rows. Starting to get a little winded here. All right. The jumps are steps. Okay, so if you have a hard time jumping, just switch your feet. Here we go.
Okay. Post push-ups. Here we go. sets and that shoulder rotation frontal raise back nice and flat here we go one two Okay, back. Plank rows. Okay, <laughs> the switch squats are next, or squat switches, me, here we go. Close incline push up. Oh, yeah. huh. just make a time. Wow. So, I don't know if you can see this. Whew. Real sweat here. Man, that was a pretty good workout. Helps with some strength. A good heart workout. Good tempo. I'm just gonna keep the body in good shape. So, um, that was our AMRAP routine. Thanks for watching. This is Elite Fitness, bringing wellness to you.